wrote a love letter, what would you write to? Dear double stuffed pepperoni pizza with extra cheese, you're like a warm hug on a cold day. Dear PS260, your lightning speed and 20 teraflops of power make my heart beat faster. Dear furry fluffy pillow, you're so dreamy, I never want to get up when the alarm rings for school. Dear Atomic Cruiser Skateboard, you make my stomach flutter every time we do a kick turn. It's true, all these things can make you feel pretty great, but real love isn't actually about how you feel. In fact, true love is an action. One of the greatest love letters of all time shares what love does. Love is patient, love is kind, it is not proud. It doesn't dishonor other people. It does not look out for its own interests. It does not easily become angry. It doesn't keep track of other people's wrongs. It always protects, it always trusts, it always hopes, it never gives up. Love never fails. And the best part, you don't have to come up with this kind of love on your own. Ask God and God will pour out love to share with everyone you meet. Then others can see God at work in you. That's why love is an amazing way to worship God with your life. Because worship is about more than just singing loud. It's all about living loud. Your love is great. Your love is kind, you calm my fear, break every lie. Your love is good, your love is true, your love won't fail, you'll see me through. How amazing, how amazing is your love, so amazing, it's amazing, it's your love. How amazing, how amazing is your love, so amazing. Hey, John, I got a quick question for you. John! What is this? The So-and-So Show. A pop-up book of surprises. All right. What this is about. Oh! <laughs> Once upon a time, Two kids became friends. They were inseparable. They were so inseparable that when they grew up into adult-sized kids, they decided to start their very own show. 
Whoa, the so-and-so show! An epic show that brought fun and whimsy for kids all around the world. Brandon was... Ah, there I am. Brandon was thoughtful and witty, a constant source of joy. Aw. Oh. And John was full of... Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Brandon. And I'm John. And welcome to the So-and-So Show. Yes, it's August. Can you believe it? I cannot. Well, believe it. It is August and that means summer is winding down. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have to start going back to school. Oh, I love school. Well, never stop learning, Brandon. Of course not. Hey, that's why we're here today, to have some fun. But hopefully to learn a little bit more about ourselves and a God that loves us. Mm -hmm. That's why we're here? Absolutely. Wow, that sounds great. Yeah. Hey, what was your favorite subject in school? My favorite Mine subject. was uh, snack time. I don't think snacking was a subject. Eh, potato, potato. Well, I loved reading, you know, getting lost in a good book, mm -hmm. a good story, good character. Huh. In fact, I think on today's show, it's time to welcome everyone to a round of so-and-so LARPing. LARPing? Yes, LARPing. Live action role playing. Wow. All right, just like a good book is full of wonderful characters, we too can come up with our own characters. LARPing is a chance for us to, to make up our own world and pretend. Think of it as, as part performance, part game. Okay, that actually sounds fun, like a big game of make-believe. Kind of. Right. We'll each pick a character and we'll become those characters. <laughs> and, and of course, we'll follow my official LARPing rules. There are rules? <laughs> well, there have to be rules or our, our imaginary world would not function properly. And so. these rules are? Well, we don't have time to go through all of them right now. So, hey, you, you know what? You can just read up on them for yourself. Wow, that's a lot of rules. And part two. Huh. Are you serious? All right, I'll see you at the LARP. Well, Happy uh, reading. Okay, thank you. Hmm. Greetings! Here I am in the land of Jamalot. Wherefore are my fellow countrymen? Arg! Ah. Ah. Greetings! I see someone else has arrived in Jamalot. And I see that you are a peasant? Arg! What do you think? <laughs> uh, another knight of the octagonal table. Arg! No! Oh. My name is Short John Copper. Ah, Short John Copper. You must be of elven descent. Arg! No! No. <laughs> then tell me more of where you're from, Short John Copper. Arg! Well, I have a ship. Ah, aha! You must know that in the land of Jamalot, we are landlocked and only have people who are peasants, knights, or elves. Surely you read that in the rules that you were given when you entered these lands? Ah, yes. I am one of the strangers from another land. I have come from my ship sailing across from Treasure Peninsula. Okay, that's not how this LARP works. Eh? I don't know if you read here right at the beginning. It says that you must choose to be either a peasant, a knight, or an elf, you see? Yes, but Article 28, Part Z says, one must stay in character at all times. <laughs> so, ah. so it is clear that you did read the rules, and yet you choose to disregard them. I choose to interpret them on me own. <laughs> but that's not... That's, not allowed. It seems you're breaking section 243, article C of the rules. One person shall not judge another person's character, even if that character is a pirate. Ah, so you are a pirate. Ha 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 Well, you know what? You can't, you can't just say that you're a pirate. That's an, a completely different law. Article 235, section Q. Be creative with your character and have fun, arg! Okay, well, I'm not having fun. Article 236, section 229. Remember, you're not responsible for somebody else's fun. Some people are just perpetual party poopers. Okay, you know, are you kidding? This LARP was my idea. I challenge you to a duel. 
As the rule states, if two players cannot overcome a conflict, they will duel with cabbage. Cabbage. They will take three paces, turn, and throw said head of cabbage, cabbage. at their opponent. Whoever is hit with a head of this cabbage. first is banished from the land of Javelot. Seems like a pretty antiquated way to win an argument. Of course it's antiquated. This LARP takes place in the Middle Ages. Cabby. All right. Any questions? Three paces. Turn and hit opponent with... Cabby. Yes. I'll count off. Turn. One. Two. Three. Ha! Huh? What? <laughs> what are you doing? What? That's not a duel. The rules say take three paces. Well, you didn't do it. Well, it didn't clearly state which direction the paces were to be taken. Everyone knows what direction the paces have to be. You, sir, are banishing. <gasps> and me, as the last person remaining in Jamalot, I declare myself King Short John Copper. <laughs> ah, King, King. ah, you're impossible. Ah. This LARP is officially over. It's Bible story time with Kellen! Ah! Hey, Kellen, can you go ahead and tell the Bible story already? Well, a hello to you, too. You'll have to excuse Brandon Kellen. He's a little upset that I was crowned King of Jamalot. Yes. Oh, did you guys just do a LARP? Yeah. We tried to, but John refused to play by the rules. I just wanted to have fun. It's not about fun. It's about the integrity of the game. Yeah, it's grown-ups playing make-believe. We should never lose our childlike sense of wonder. I was being childlike. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, you know what? I think our Bible story today may actually be helpful. Good. Maybe it can teach John a lesson. <laughs> Why don't you just take it away, Kellen? Gladly. Our story today is just a couple of verses, but in some ways, you could say it covers almost everything in the Bible. Da, 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 da. Hello, Kellen. Yeah, I'm so happy to be here. I just ate all of my energy bears and I'm ready to work out. Don't you mean energy bars? No, oh, energy bears. Rars. <laughs> I won't ask. Well, hello, Horvath. Um, this is my friend Horvath, and sometimes he comes to help me uh, tell the Bible story. That's right. Kellen tells the stories, and I do the exercises that help people remember with the brains. Today, we are telling the whole Bible. Go. Well, okay, not exactly. Our story today is actually about Jesus. Oh. Now, in Jesus' time, they didn't have the whole Bible that we have. They have what they called the law. And the law was a ton of rules that the Jewish people were supposed to follow. Rules about how to make your food and how to treat other people oh. and how to give sacrifices to God. Oh. And one day, a religious leader who wanted to trick Jesus asked him, Teacher, which is the most important commandment in the law? Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Love him with all your mind. This is the first and most important commandment. Okay, first exercise. Okay, I call it heart, soul, mind. Okay, you do a squat while you pull your hands into a heart. And then you jump up with your arms and legs out because you're so excited. And then you spin and shake your mind like this. Ah, we'll do this 57 times. 57? Ah. That's a hard exercise. Are you sure? Go! One. <laughs> Porcupine. <laughs> Cuticle. <laughs> Augustus Gloop. Ah. 57s. Oh. Yeah. So of all the rules, of all the rules, Jesus said loving God was the most important. But there was more to it than that. Jesus said there was another rule that was like the first. He said, love your neighbor as you love yourself. Or well, second exercise, neighbor hugs. Okay, you love yourself by giving yourself a big bear hug, and then you take that love and you push it out like you're throwing a love lightning bolts. We will do this 143 times. Go. One. Oh. Sardines. Oh. Cup of Joe. 
Ah, Lufthansa. Ah, Venus flytrap. Ooh, 147. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I feel the burns. Feel the burns. Yeah. All right. So the greatest commandments are love God and love others. Jesus said that all the other rules were based on those two. Why? Oh, that makes me so happy. Okay, for our last exercise, we do the love God and loving others. Happy dance star spraying. That sounds very complicated. No, you lift your arms and you pull in God's love. Ooh, lifting your legs with high knees like running in place. Ooh, ooh. And then you spin around, throwing out God's love to everyone. <laughs> yeah? Okay, we will do this infinity times. Infinity times? Ready? Oh. Go. One. <laughs> Tofu. <laughs> Later, Hosen. Oh, like <laughs> Reindeer. <laughs> Couscous. <laughs> String theory. <laughs> Mary Talamore. Uh, 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 uh. Horvath, are we almost done? No, Kellen, it's infinity times. That means forevers. We never stop loving God or loving others. Nickel alloy. Uh, 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 uh. Stationary. Well, uh, you're exactly uh, right. God's love is never ending, and our love for others should never stop either. But I think we can stop the exercise. Oh, oh. yes. Oh. Thank you, Kellen. <laughs> I forget that the exercise is a physical representation of a larger truth and not the truth itself. Infinity! Done! <laughs> Perfect. Thanks, Horvath. No, thank yous! Okay, now I must go show my loves to all my neighbors. Bye! Bye, Horvath. The end. Hey, thanks, Kellen. Yeah, you know, I think I may have gotten a little carried away with the rules of our LARP. We can all get caught up in the rules sometimes, but our story today reminds us loving God and loving people is the most important. If we do that, we're allowing God to change our hearts and helping God to change the world around us. That's great. Thanks, Kellen. No problem. Hey, see you next time. Wouldn't miss it. John, I'm sorry, I forgot the most important rule of all, to love. Well, I'm sorry too. I could have tried to work with you a little more. It's all good. Arg! I think we've learned a lot. Reveal the question. What do you love? Yeah, maybe you love going to the beach. Or time outdoors. Or maybe you love reading a good book. You love your family. And your friends. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you love pushing your friend's buttons. Beep, boop, beep, 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 boop, boop. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Or maybe you love rules more than other people sometimes. Yeah, but we should always remember what Jesus taught. The most important thing is to love God and to love others. Talk about it with each other. Mm -hmm. What do you love? And we'll see you next time on the So-and-So Show. Hey, you know what I love? What? Cabbage. Do you really? I, do. I don't I like it. it at all. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. Is it moon cabbage? Yes, this is the very famous moon cabbage. Uh, is... Would you like some? Yes, please. I'd like some moon cabbage. I call it the cabbage ballet. On the moon. Boy, I sure hope they put a moon background here. <laughs> <laughs>